It keeps a third of us alive. It also keeps our roses red and our corn stalks high. It falls from above, and it was the big prize in a war. It's the recycled waste of restaurants, restrooms, and trash bins. It's dredged from ancient seas and drenched in modern solutions. Dripped, dropped, or dumped. Now, fertilizer on Modern Marvels. Fortunately for plants and farmers everywhere, bat and bird guano aren't the only stinky stuff around. Today, there's a new dew rising, worm castings. Through a process called vermicomposting, worms are fed a steady diet of cow manure. The worms, in turn, will excrete a powerful fertilizer of their own. The idea is that by double dipping, organic matter is broken down to such an extent that it releases nutrients more quickly to plants. Warning, the process is not for the faint of heart. Here's how it works. At Coin Farms, a highly respected enterprise in upstate New York, dairy cows are busy making the same mess that's been fertilizing fields since the beginning of crop production. Early farmers made the observation that where there was manure, the plants around that organic matter are stronger and look better. Working back and forth across this slimy floor, a mechanical pooper scooper slowly scrapes the cow manure toward the center of the barn. These piles of dung may look repulsive, but to Tom Hurley, owner of Worm Power in Avon, New York, this barn floor is overflowing with nutrients, just waiting to be harnessed. This is where the vermicomposting process begins. This is my feedstock right here. Back into the cows, the cow flop falls down in the aisle. The manure is pushed down the aisle, down in here into the central way where it falls into the sump. Comes down in here, there's 80,000 gallons of manure and it's being agitated, pumped around and around and around. The pool of poop is filled with traces of nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. But worms like their dinner on the drier side. It's pumped up put into this big hopper here where it's gonna be fed into the separator. The separator is nothing more than a giant squeeze press, just like when you're making wine or uh, apple cider. It's squeezed. We get the uh, solids here out of the end. You can see it's all fibrous from the uh, bedding from the cow and also from their diet. And then the juice comes out the pipe down here at the bottom. The separated liquid travels to a million gallon manure lagoon. Later, so as not to waste a drop, the nose-rotting liquid will be sent to a corn pasture to fertilize feed for the same cows that made it. Meanwhile, the separated dry manure is trucked to the vermicompost plant. But before it's fed to the worms, it needs to be broken down into smaller portions. The best way to do that is to compost it with an active organic material, like rotting cattle feed. Normally, the manure would take several months to decompose. That's where the worms come in. Here we are. This is the heart of the vermicomposting operation. In this room, we have about 7 million earthworms living and breeding. Uh, each one of these beds is about 1,000 square feet of surface area. We've taken that manure, we've composted it, and now we're feeding it to the worms. The worms are multiplying in here. All they're doing is eating and breeding, and our job is to keep them fat, dumb, and happy. They're in here eating away like mad. And you can see, we got lots of earthworms. Food and sex in a specially made trough. This may seem like worm heaven, but these lucky little critters are providing a crucial step in breaking down the big three nutrients. They have a gizzard like a chicken. They ingest the particle, they fragment it up, they accelerate decomposition. Uh, regular composting, it would take six to nine months to get a stable end product. 21 days ago, this was manure. 40 days in here, and then I'm all done. Inside the trough, the worms work in a counterflow system. The original compost is spread on the top of the bed. The worms then move up to eat. After digestion, they expel particles called castings. A winch then pulls a bar through the trough, which skims off a layer of castings to the bottom. 
Compost is then added back on top of the trough and the process continues. 45 days later, the vermicastings are calmly shaken onto a conveyor below and the final product slowly rides off to the packaging plant. Here's the black rain falling. 60 days ago, that was manure. Now it's beautiful, rich, earthy smelling material. Plant a seed in it, jump back before the shoot comes and hits you in the eye. Worms can poop great fertilizer. And cows and bats can too. So what about the hairless ape? <laughs>